The lungs are this fragile tissue. They're kind of like a sponge that has fluid in them, but they're not sopping wet, but they're, they're like a sponge that's been, high quality sponge that's been wrung out, but still moist. And a bullet can pass through that, and the area around it, depending on how fast the bullet's going, will get bruised and break down and, and just have blood clot in all that soft tissue spots. Um, whereas if it goes next to the heart, the blast effect to the heart, which is a muscle, can cause bruising there although the extent of the damage may not be as wide, but it's much more vital tissue, right? A small amount of heart is injured, that could cause you to die. It also, as it heals, it weakens the tissue as well. So we call it a blast effect from bullets as well. So sometimes you get injuries from a blast effect, and brain injury is probably the best example of tissue that, you know, the bullet track may only be this big where the bullet went through, but the area around it is this much, and you can imagine a tunnel going across your brain that's that big. That's a tremendous amount of brain tissue that's lost forever. The faster it goes, the more damage it creates like this cylinder mass effect around it that causes hemorrhage, disrupts, it, disrupts the cellular uh, levels, all the tissue integrity gets broken down, it bleeds. Uh, if it's muscle, it causes damage. If it's bone, it causes fractures. So all those things kind of, again, the faster the bullet and the bigger the bullet, the more force it has and the more energy it has and the larger the area that it creates. And it kind of